Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Dr. Scott Dell, who is currently in South Carolina. Hi, Doctor, how are you doing? Outstanding, Meher. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here. So as an active academic, recovering CPA, lifelong learner, enthusiastic teacher, experienced entrepreneur, motivating coach, successful author, and proud Navy veteran, Dr. Scott brings a lot of experience to help you drive. His students and clients develop new skills, expand their knowledge, and grow personally and professionally while using the latest technologies, including ChatGDP, Zoom, and LinkedIn. So let's start with ChatGDP, doctor. So we know that all around the world, everyone is talking ChatGDP. Some academics are saying that we don't know if an article or an assignment is uh, is written by the student or is asking ChatGDP to write it, so they don't know. A lot of career advisors are saying that is ChatGDP using to create resumes and when they are sending to companies, is ATS system, so is computer kind of screening a computer outlet? So what are your thoughts? What's happening with the use of ChatGDP and how we can use it to be successful or how to use it so that job seekers can advantage or can use it better? Excellent question. There is a lot of fear in the air. Yeah. But we need to ask the right question. I mean, the academic in me says, okay, step back. What are we trying to do here? If we use it to write our papers for us, if we use it to write our resumes and cover letters for us, is it the right application, the right tool for the right job? And the short answer is probably not. But the real question is, how can it enhance what we do? As educators, there, there's two philosophies. Bury your head in the sand yeah. and, and say, I'm not dealing with this. Or all right, let's take it head on. And our student, we're asking our students to think critically. Our educators need to think critically. How do we integrate this? Because it's there. Yeah. Our students are using it. We don't get a choice. That's that. That's that's a fact. Yeah. So, and if we say, well, you can't use it. Oh, okay. Don't use a calculator. No, don't use. <laughs> let's let's not let's not search Wikipedia. Uh, let's not go ahead and do a Google search. Mm -hmm. Those are things that are, they're going to use. So let's teach our students and ourselves to use them the best way, most effective way. And the yeah. problem is if we say, okay, ChatGPT can write my paper. I wrote a book on ChatGPT uh, two weekends ago and it was an 85, 90 page book. And it was, I won't call it junk, but it was didn't have heart, soul, personality, mm -hmm. didn't, didn't have me. And I've yeah. written another book. I wrote the book on LinkedIn. I'm, we, I'm writing another career book as we speak uh, with a partner. And we are we have an outstanding environment, I think. But I asked ChatGPT to write the same kind of book and give me some good ideas. Yes, it's a great for a springboard. But yeah. if it's a replacement, that's that's the wrong use of the tool. And the same thing in the classroom. If we're saying to our students, "Here, you can go do this," and they're going to be using this tool to answer the essay, and we're going to say, "Okay, then that that we're asking the wrong questions again." We need to be effective in how we approach and integrate that into our environments where we're teaching, learning, and whatever we're doing. I totally agree with you. And I've seen a lot of career coaches or instructors, they are telling you, yeah, use ChatGDP as a first trap, or maybe use ChatGDP to be the first summary part. But again, you need to add your personality, you need to customize it so that it reflects kind of who you are. And I actually usually recommend it as not a last resort, but a second part. I'll give you an example. I had a colleague who was applying for an academic position. And now they have, okay, diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. Yeah. You, need a, you need a diversity letter that's included as part of the application pack, packet. So I said, tell you what, draft a what you would put in a diversity letter yourself, mm -hmm. and then we'll go ask ChatGPT what it would write. So yeah. he did that. He drafted it. He came up with some good insights, good ideas. And then we asked ChatGPT first from scratch, and then we used his letter as another tool to say, you know, how do we enhance this to include? Yeah. First time we asked it, it came up with two other ideas that he neglected to mention. Mm -hmm. The rest of the letter, I would say, was not up to par, up to snuff. Yeah. But the idea that, you know what, here's a couple other things that we missed. 
Mm -hmm. It would be really good to include and that enhance, and then we can build it from there. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not bad as a first pass if you're having trouble thinking, uh, where, where do I get started? It's yeah. a great springboard. But it's also not a bad thing to use to say, let me think about this first. What kind of, what outline am I going for? Mm -hmm. Before you say, okay, give me an outline. Yeah. Give me some taglines. Give me some cool alliterations. Yeah. Put it in the style of Dr. Seuss. I mean, the mm -hmm. kind of things you can make it do yeah. are pretty cool and pretty wild. You know, think, but you want you want to set up the role the role play. You know, you are a career career yeah. coach for twenty years experience, and you're in high tech, and you have to you have to make the story effective. And that's back. We'll talk about prompting in a few yeah. in a time. But I think the idea of how to best ask the questions is kind of important, and how to best utilize the tool. It's like the sledgehammer is a great tool, but not for hanging a picture. Yeah. I totally agree with you and thank you for that. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Dr. Scott a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. So you can like, share, put comments. So tune in tomorrow for another great question with Dr. Scott.